Hello guys and welcome back. I finally am uploading another video. I know, I know it's been forever. But this is the full face um, tutorial that has been highly requested and I finally got around to record it for you guys. So let's jump into it. First things first, I always prime my eyes with the Pro Longwear Concealer from MAC in the shade NC45. I even do this when I'm going to apply eyeshadow. But even on like days where I'm not applying eyeshadow, this is still my routine. So I'm going to go use the Studio Fix um, powder from MAC as well in the shade NC50 and I use the pad that comes in it and I apply it all over my eyes to set my eyes. Next is skin prep you guys. So I use the Ula Henriksen Sheer Transformation as my moisturizer. This is my most favorite moisturizer ever ever like I legit recommend you guys to go buy it if you have dry skin it does it all even if you don't have dry skin I still feel like it probably help if you have like normal skin maybe not oily it might not be the best but so I just apply that all over my face and I just rub it all in Next, I'm moving on to the Professional from Benefit, and I apply that all over my nose area because my nose has tend to been getting kind of oily lately, only on the top of my nose. And I like to apply it in patting motions just so I can actually get the product in the area where I want it to stay at. Next, moving on to the NYX um, Photo Finish Primer. I like to put this in the areas where my face tends to crease. This has been a new method that I found and it actually helps with keeping down the creasing on my face right there in the area from smiling too much. And next, I'm going to move on to the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy Smooth 355 Foundation. I like this foundation for everyday wear. Now, if I'm going somewhere else fancy, I might use um, my more expensive foundations. But this still is a really good foundation to be so inexpensive. And I'm pretty sure you, a lot of you guys have already heard, it or heard of it or even tried to use it. But this is usually the foundation I use for my everyday wear. And I'm just going to use the end of the beauty blender to blend this in. This is beauty blender is really the only thing that I ever use when um, blending out my foundation because I just prefer it over a brush. Now moving on to highlighting my face, I'm going to use the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn and I just use the applicator on it of course and I just basically move it in lines all down my face until I blend it out on the area, put it on the area that I would like for it to be in. And then I'm going to move on to blending this out. Today I'm going to use the Real Techniques Blender. It is actually a really good um, blender. I just prefer my beauty blenders. I don't know why, but it's still decent to me. I actually really do like it for blending out my concealer. Not so much putting on my foundation, but it is pretty good for blending out um, the concealer. So you guys can see the difference of putting on the concealer and not having on the concealer on the other side. And now I'm going to use another LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Pure Beige. This I use because the font sometimes doesn't give me that highlight effect that I'm looking for when I'm trying to brighten under my eye for the highlight effect. So I'll just take it in like dot motions and just a little bit, not as much as the font. And I blend that out with the same blender. And you'll just see the difference of how light it makes that side of my face compared to the other side. Now instead of using the pure beige, I am going to use fawn on the rest of my face where I would like to highlight, meaning my nose and my forehead on top of my cupid's bow and on the center of my chin as well. And then I'm going to take that same Real Techniques blender and I'm just going to blend this all out in patting motions, not rubbing it. You just want to pat it until it blends out to how you would like for it to be. Yeah. 
And now to set my face, I'm going to use the Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder. This is my favorite setting powder, you guys. I already know this. I use it so much. You can see that it is almost empty, but it's okay. Because I have two more in back stock. They are already set and ready to go. So I'm going to use that same blender that I used to blend out the um, concealer. And I'm just going to pat that setting powder all in the areas where I put the concealer, basically. Because you want to set it. You don't want your concealer to start creasing throughout the day, moving. And it's also going to make you look even more oily if you don't set it. Pretty sure you guys already know this. I'm going to put it in my areas where I tend to crease a lot. All right, and now I'm going to move on to slimming down this fat nose of mine. And I'm going to use the NYX Matte Bronzer in the shade Deep Tan. And I'm going to use a little fluffy blending brush. It is from Morphe. However, I do not remember the number. Guys, this video was recorded like, honestly, four weeks ago. It was like right at the beginning of December. And I'm just now getting around to um, edit editing it and stuff so I kind of don't remember the brushes that I used so I apologize for that however I did get um, a little snippet of the face brushes that I'm going to use on my face today all right and now we're going to move on to bronzing up and contouring my face I'm using the covergirl ebony bronzer I'm just going to apply that to my cheeks as you guys see here with back back and forth motions I'm going to blend it out in little small circular motions and then I'm also going to apply it to my forehead as well right around the outskirts of my forehead <music> And now I'm going to move on to my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Deep or Dark. I believe it is dark. Yes, it is. And I'm just going to use that on a fluffy brush to blend out all, well, get rid of all that Sasha Buttercup powder. I just find that it kind of disappears the look of that um, leftover setting powder. It'll just blend it out a lot better versus leaving like that yellow effect on my face basically because it doesn't leave an ash look it's more of a like yellow effect so then I'm going to use that Real Techniques blender to clean up my contour a bit I do not add a whole lot of the Sasha Buttercup powder because it's, I find it easier to blend it out if you do not have so much to clean it up plus I don't like that super duper clean look on my contour so I just try to use just a little bit just to clean it up a little bit Alright, and this is my everyday blush. It is MAC and Burnt Pepper. And I'm going to use a little fiber brush from BH Cosmetics to apply this blush. I love this shade, this pink shade. It's so pretty. And you guys, this eye look that you see here, um, I have already uploaded a video on this eye makeup tutorial. If you guys want to check it out, I will put the link below so you can check that out as well. And I'm going to use matte gold deposit to add a little bit of glow because we all know glow is life. I'm going to add that glow to my face and this actually is one of like my everyday highlighters. So I use my finger to apply it to my nose. I just apply just a little bit to the bridge of my nose because we don't want that highlight to be too blinding, you know, especially on your nose. So I like to use my finger when I apply it to my nose. And then I'm going to move on to Laura Geller Gilded Honey. I don't know why it took me so long to buy this highlighter because when I say it is freaking life like y'all. If you don't have this highlighter, I recommend you go buy it. Buy it from the website. Buy it from Ulta. I got mine from Ulta. That highlighter gives me so much life. I'm like, damn. Why did it take me so long to buy this? But yeah, so I'm gonna use the highlighter. This is, these two highlighters are honestly the ones that I use in my everyday like makeup routine. 
and I like to apply it to my forehead, my chin, and my cupid's bow as well because, well, I like to glow everywhere. There's nothing wrong with that. Alright, and to finish my face, I'm going to use my MAC Fix Plus Spray, and I spray that all over to basically give my face that refreshed look, so it doesn't look like it's all dried out and stuff from the powder. And guys, that really, honestly, honestly, truly, honestly, truly, finishes, well damn y'all, group message life, that finishes my look. I hope you guys enjoyed it so much and if you did please make sure you like this video comment and subscribe I am really gonna get back on my game in 2017 I promise y'all it will be my freaking year it will be my year it will be my year I'm not playing with y'all I'm coming for it in 2017 all right see you guys later love you bye